Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative. Today I have a tutorial for our plugin, the Divi Events Calendar. Someone asked me how to make a compact list of events using the events feed module. And I actually just, you know, went in, I was like, that's a good idea, let me play around. And so I got this little snippet of CSS for you. And it's actually going to be pretty simple and you can actually use a lot of the settings there in the module and make a really nice compact list. We have the title on the one side, the date and time in the middle, and the button on the other side. So I'm excited to show you this. Let's check it out. Okay, so the views that you have in the Divi events calendar by default, actually you have pretty many views. Like here's here's one. It's considered, I say one column, but I mean that it's like um, I'll show you the difference between one and two columns in my mind here, but you have like there it's image on the left. You could have image on the right here. Here, this is one column. And then like here would be two columns of that first one image left details, right? See, that's what I mean by columns. So I realize there's like inner columns here, um, but you have a lot of layouts, you know, and you could, you could go with just a three column, you know, where it's like that. Anyway, so what I want to show you though is something that is not included in the plugin, but is was a someone asked me how to do it, and that's a list. So I'm going to use um, well, I'm going to show you here. I'll show you the screenshot quick. It's like that there. What we're going to make, um, we're going to use some code. We're going to essentially make this right here. I already made it. I'm just remaking it here for the video. So that's what I mean by a list. So let's get started. It's actually pretty quick and easy here. So I'm gonna to go to my demo and uh, what I will do is just pull in one of my other regular layouts, but I'm gonna set it to that image left details right. All right, so here we go. I have just this layout where it's image on the left and details on the right. And I will show you that real quick. In the settings, I have it on layout with one column, image left, details right. Okay, so what we're going to do is well, we're going to turn off a couple of things because it's just too many things to make that list layout. It's too, too many things going on. Um, under elements, that's where we're going to start. So go under elements. I'm going to turn off the image and things like organizer, price, website, keep the date and time, turn off the venue, the excerpt, and even the category. And then we're kind of left with that. <laughs> so we're left with that. It's not, not much. Um, but, and it's all on the left side here. And that's that's intentional, so that's good. We turned that off. I gotta see what I said in my own tutorial here. So let's see, the, yeah, we, we're at that stage right there, all right? And now we're gonna make some more adjustments. Oh yeah, so I ended up like centering uh, the text. And I'm actually, I'm gonna skip that and come back to that. So let's go ahead and copy in this code next. So I have a snippet here. Of course, if you're watching this on YouTube, go over to the blog like normal, grab that snippet. So what I am going to do is put that directly here in my page settings. For you, you should put it in a child theme or in Divi theme options. So there we go. And just like that, we're almost done. We're not, we're not quite done, but almost. So what I did, and I'll show you this, I basically have three things that we're targeting and those three things are the title and that's the entry title in the code the next thing is um, this class that's uh, show detail center and basically that's the class that wraps around all of the details okay and then there's this one here that's the um, well it's called show detail but it's basically a button all right so we're targeting these three classes and we're saying display inline block. See that? We're just doing that for all of them. Um, this isn't a necessarily a CSS lesson, but but I like to try to teach it when I can. So by default, these were block items, meaning that the whole block, you know, it went the whole way across the page. See this now, this title is is displaying block, so it's going the whole way across. And then these details are going the whole way across. And then this button is going the whole way across. But by adding the code and having them be display inline block, they are still a block element, but they're inline. Now, 
The only way that they fit in line is if they all equal 100% of the container. And you'll notice, where should I put this? You'll notice the entry title, I have it 40%. The details, I have it 40%. And the button at 20%. Now, what if I would change that? Let's say I'd make this 30%. Well, it no longer fits. So it just stacks to the next line. And we don't want that. We want it to add up to 100 all right, so those that's one thing you could certainly customize. Maybe you want the whole title to be bigger, or maybe you're just showing, um, well, even if you, yeah, and even if you change the text um, to be smaller and the space, let's go in here, let's, let's adjust some things. So I think I should adjust the spacing of, you know, the inner event here, and that's right here. So right now, look at this, I have 48 pixels. So let's lower that to like, I don't know. Just, you know, I'm just randomly throwing in numbers. So there you can see, and because of the way this layout is, we're probably going to need to adjust. We're gonna have to have more padding on the bottom than on the top. And yeah, that's just the way it is. And even like this, this could be a lot less probably. Um, and again, this really doesn't matter. It's not right or wrong. Here's the spacing in between the events. We can lower that. Um, in fact, we could even just get rid of this margin left and right. We don't really need that. And then um, the thing that I had done in the tutorial was centering the text. So it's really hard to tell that it's not centered, but like the title text we can keep left. Like, I don't, I don't know. I guess you could center that too. Um, so that's the title. We need details text and center. Actually, wow, that actually made a big difference um, when it was over there. See how it's left a line right here in this, you know, 40%, 40%, 20. Um, it's actually aligned center within its little column there. And then the next one, the, the view more button here, we can center that as well. Right there, button alignment. And I think that's going to be better for this. I don't know. Maybe maybe I'm not thinking of that right. Maybe you could even put this to the right instead. Uh, but there you go. That's that's how you make it into a list. I hope you enjoyed that. Obviously, my border, my blue collar, my, all of this stuff was already on my particular demo. So you'd have to adjust that as well. But I don't know. I, I kind of like this. Depending on the situation, you know, this is a, actually a pretty nice design. And, you know, it's... It, adds you, it gives you the ability to add, you know, a lot of events there in a smaller space. Especially if you don't have images, this would be a nice layout if you just don't have images for your events. So, all right, there you go. All right, so there you go. That's another tutorial there for our plugin. We've actually done a couple tutorials. We did the one with the icons and the search module. Um, and if you have any other ideas, let us know. Um, let us know if you have tutorial ideas in general. You know, we have a huge backlog. We always have about, actually, sometimes up close to in the upper 30s of uh, drafts um, available at all times for us to be working on and processing and working through. So that's exciting. We always have a backlog, but we do want to hear, you know, what you want to see. So let us know, and we'll see you in the next video.